you know, there are lots of guidelines that focus on LDL control, but uh, increasingly a number of guidelines have adopted the reduce it trial data. And in fact, the American Diabetes Association was the first major organization to incorporate icosapentethyl for uh, patients with diabetes and also for patients with atherosclerosis and a number of other guidelines have followed the European Society of Cardiology, the European Atherosclerosis Society, National Lipid Association, uh, a number of others as well. And, and I guess uh, one thing I might just ask Dr. Budoff again to comment on is uh, some of the more recent analyses from Reduce It, uh, such as the patients with diabetes, just recently presented the American Diabetes Association and you are co-author on that work. Uh, what does that tell us uh, that we need to think about in people with diabetes specifically? Yeah, so, you know, and again, uh, the, going back to the reduce it design, remember that the primary prevention entry criteria were patients with diabetes as, uh, and the secondary prevention included diabetes. I, I think we learned a, a lot from that sub-analysis. And, and remember, most of the patients in in the reduce it trial, more than more than half ended up having diabetes because they could have been in either the primary or secondary prevention arm. And Dr. Bott just presented at the ADA just uh, literally days ago uh, data that demonstrates that it was uh, as robust a, a, a benefit in these patients with diabetes, uh, both for initial events as well as for total events. And the patients who have diabetes and coronary disease of course, have the highest risk um, and the most absolute benefit. I, I just want to highlight one other recent study that you that you presented at another meeting at the Society of Cardiovascular Angiography and Intervention, because I, I think understanding the what what you called reduce it revask revask was very important in demonstrating both time to PCI reduced by 32 percent and time to bypass surgery reduced by 39%. And I, I do think that's the first time we've seen at any therapy reduce the risk of, of uh, bypass um, surgery. Um, so I think that when we talk about, you know, greater than 30% reductions in revascularization on top of that, I know we have experts with cost effectiveness, but those are both expensive and uh, potentially life-threatening interventions um, that, that we really have a robust benefit across multiple subgroups in the REDUCE IT trial. Yeah, I'm glad you brought all that up because beyond the primary results of the trial that we briefly reviewed, there have been subsequent analyses. And as you mentioned, in REDUCE IT diabetes, it showed robust benefits of icosapentethyl in those with diabetes, also in those without diabetes who had atherosclerosis. There were essentially three subgroups, those with diabetes with cardiovascular risk factors, those with diabetes with cardiovascular disease, that was a really high risk subgroup with a very large absolute risk reductions. And then those without diabetes, but with established atherosclerosis, so there are two that were large risk reductions. So uh, I think it's uh, important to realize that in those patients with diabetes, icosapentethyl is something to consider if the triglycerides are a bit elevated, but uh, even in those without diabetes, there is benefit. And the REVASC, as you mentioned, is interesting because I, I think you're right, at least in the LDL lowering era beyond just LDL reduction, I certainly couldn't find another trial that's randomized, uh, double blind, uh, placebo controlled, showing a reduction in the need for coronary artery bypass grafting. I think that shows the really large benefit of icosapentethyl in reducing a substantial amount of atherosclerosis and really is in keeping with what you showed in evaporate, that is direct effects on plaque progression rates or even regression of plaque. That uh, would explain why there'd be a need, in, a reduction in the need for something like bypass surgery. So I agree that is pretty remarkable. 